Hey everybody, this is Dawn. Um, I am three days post-surgery for my right rotator cuff. Um, would have posted sooner, but I've had a really rough go the first few days. Uh, my surgery, um, if you've watched an earlier video, was postponed from Wednesday to Thursday. So, um, turns out our surgeon's wife went into labor and so we delayed a day. Um, she had a little baby boy, so everything was good on that end. Um, so yeah, it was roughly 24 hours that we waited. The good news was they did not make me redo my COVID test. Um, you're supposed to have seven days um, between testing and surgery at the max. Um, we were actually kind of pushing it. It ended up being closer to nine days, eight or nine days actually. And um, if it had gone one day more, I would have had to retest. So, but that worked out. Um, anyway, so as I said, today is Sunday. Um, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there and especially my surgeon. Um, but so once, um, once the surgery was done, I actually ended up staying in recovery a little longer, almost an hour longer, because I was having trouble breathing apparently, um, which I was getting plenty of oxygen. What we think happened is I did have a nerve block and it somehow affected my diaphragm and, I, and my breathing. So I was kind of like hyperventilating. Um, I really don't remember too much about the recovery at all. Um, so I had to be at the surgical center at 9 a.m. and did not get home till almost three. So I think the surgery itself was about two hours, maybe a little longer. I'll find out from my surgeon um, on Tuesday when I have my post-op appointment to go over things. So. Um, yeah, those first two days were really rough. Um, that first night was horrible. I had, as it turns out, a reaction to the anesthesia. And um, around 7 or 8 o'clock, I was very nauseous and ended up sick to my stomach. Um, my husband called and spoke to the surgeon. They called in um, an anti-nausea medication. Um, we didn't thoroughly read the instructions when I took it and I did drink something shortly after taking it and it made me get sick again. So um, once I got all the anesthesia out of my system, I started feeling a little better and was able to get a little bit of sleep. I did wake up like every two or three hours. Um, I wasn't feeling any pain at all. Uh, the nerve block really did its job on that end. Um, but the weird thing that, that I had, and I don't know, maybe others have had the same experience, but it really affected beyond just my right arm. My right eye was closed. I was having trouble hearing out of my right ear. Um, and as I said, the diaphragm, that whole thing with the breathing, um, I just felt like I couldn't take a really deep breath. And they assured me that that was strictly um, due to the nerve block. It wasn't anything else. Um, but it was a little scary. Um, my husband did call and talk to, um, he called, I guess, the hospital that first night and spoke to someone that was a chief of surgery in the ER that night. And they assured him that once I got that anesthesia out of my system, I'd be okay. Um, they did put something into my IV to prevent the nausea, but that wears off after about six hours. So I think that's what was going on. But any, anyway, um, so just so you're aware, uh, not everybody has the same experience with their anesthesia, but that was, that's what happened with me. Um, so started getting some feeling in my fingers the following day. I was able to wiggle, wiggle my fingers a little bit. Um, and our, my surgeon had said, uh, told my husband that when I could get some feeling in my elbow, that that would be an indicator that it's time to take my pain medication because next it would work its way up to my shoulder. So I took that advice and it was Friday evening, right before I went to bed around 10 o'clock, I took my first um, 
my first pain medication and set my alarm for six hours later to take the next one. And that was the best night's sleep I had had. I slept really well. Um, I was using the bed that I showed in one of my earlier videos. So it's uh, half of a split king and it does raise and lower. That was really helpful to have. I was relatively comfortable. Um, it is an adjustment sleeping with the sling. Um, I was um, able to undo the shoulder strap as long as I kept the waist strap around my, my waist um, and I propped up my, uh, my sling with a pillow, I was okay. Um, so I got a really good night's sleep Friday night. Um, yesterday was a better day. Um, I started getting all the feeling back in my hand. I was able to um, kind of squeeze. There's a little, um, like a rubber pad inside my sling that I'm able to squeeze and just getting some movement in my hand felt good. Um, so we did, um, yesterday morning, um, Saturday morning, we removed my um, dressing it was a big pad on my shoulder and it was getting really itchy. I think I was having a reaction to the adhesive tape. So the surgeon had said it was okay to take off. Um, so we did remove it and covered the, there's four incisions. I did cover those with um, large band-aids. So those are still covered. Um, and so that was, that was fine. Then, um, Got a fairly decent night's sleep last night. Um, honestly, I'm having little to no pain, even though the nerve block's almost completely worn off at this point. Still have some numbness in my thumb. It's the only place I'm still feeling it. Um, but I had um, a pretty good night's sleep and um, only took a half of a pain pill at bedtime. And I've switched over to prescription ibuprofen. It's a prescription called Duexis, and it's 800 milligrams of um, ibuprofen, which, and it has a buffer to protect your stomach. So that's something you can request, I guess, from your physician. Um, but I've found that that was really helpful. And that just that half of the pain medication really did help me sleep again. Um, I don't want to keep taking it if I don't feel I need it because it does kind of bind you up a little bit. You probably heard that. Make sure you're taking a stool softener. Drink lots and lots of water. Stay hydrated. Um, so this morning, the best day yet I've had. Um, I, my husband actually helped me bathe. Um, was able to wash my hair very carefully so that I kept um, the shoulder the shoulder dry. Um, and just you feel like a new person when you finally get your hair washed and you can wash up a little bit. Um, dressing is a challenge, but I'm learning how to carefully take the sling on and off and make sure I'm keeping that um, arm elevated and tight against my body. Um, it does take some practice and you're a little bit scared the first time you do it. Um, but just, you know, have some help there with you if you can. If you happen to be alone, just be real careful about it. Um, what I did purchase before my surgery is I got um, an inexpensive sling from Walgreens and um, when I'm able to actually shower, I'm going to be using that in the shower because I can get it wet. Um, it will hold my arm in position against my body and will remind me not to move that arm and then I can just lay it over the shower to dry. So I think that's going to be really helpful. We used that today. Um, so issues, just the challenges of sleeping and getting used to being in the sling all day. Um, but I'm also learning what I can and can't do. Um, you, you'd be surprised what you can accomplish with one hand when you set your mind to it. I was actually able to open a can of cat food with one hand. I uh, couldn't believe that, but I was able to do it and just kind of tip the food out onto a dish for the cat. Um, I was able to sort some laundry and throw it into the washing machine and my family's helping me with that. I know I shouldn't be overdoing it and so I'm going to make sure I get some rest the remainder of the day. Um, accept help if people ask or offer to bring meals or uh, anything. Just don't say no. Accept the help. It's hard for me to always do that but we have uh, people from our church that are bringing us meals all next week 
and we're really looking forward to that. So um, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to, to um, leave me a comment. And I'll probably post again after um, my post-op appointment, or if not, at the end of my first week. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.